Hello guys, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can put your text along a path and also I'm going to show you how you can repeat that text along a path and also how to use the repeater effect which is usually not possible on the text to repeat them like this. Then with this tutorial you're going to be able to form this kind of effect and this one and more. So stick around, let's get started. So right inside Adobe After Effects, I'm going to start with creating a new composition. The settings right here doesn't really matter. Feel free to choose your own settings. Nice. And then you hit OK. So right click on your timeline, go to new and then add a new text layer. Here you're going to need to add your text the way you want it, format it. It's all up to you however you want it, but put in mind that the fewer the text, the better for this effect to look very similar to what I am doing here. Now, right at the top right here, select the shape tool right here and select the ellipse tool. So once you select the ellipse tool, we're going to make sure our text is selected in this case, then click here and draw a mask around it. Hold down shift and control to keep it perfectly at the center. You're going to go to the mask option right here, expand it and then make it none. Expand the text option right here. Under the part option, expand it also and then change the part to mask. That is going to make this follow the part of this mask right here. So we can toggle this mask part on and off on our preview window so that we can see exactly what our text is doing. On the part option, we're going to add an expression to the first margin. Alt click or option click on it, then type in time asterisk 400. So if you preview now, that is going to make our test keep rotating. Actually, I'm going to make this negative 400. So click on the expression again, just add negative 400 because I want it to rotate the other way. So that is all up to you. So now we can see it rotating the other way. So now this is the first thing you have done. So now let's apply the first effect to get our text repeated on this cycle. <laughs> yeah, boy. With your text elasticity selected, we're going to search for the echo effect. So we're going to add that echo effect. So on the echo time, we're going to make that two. And then on the copies, we're going to make that three. That should spread your text around like this. So if you preview now, you can see that you already have this text repeated on this pattern. So for us to be able to add a repeater to this text again, because we want to make this to form a tunnel and other random mechanical effects. To do that, we're going to first of all, control shift C to pre-compose this. We're going to name this text holder. Then we'll make sure we move all attributes to the new composition. And then you hit OK. Now let's force a repeater effect on this layer like we can do with shape layers. So to do this, we're going to right click on the timeline, go to new and create a new null object. So we're going to name this null object position. On this null object, I'm going to add a slider control effect. So I'm going to search for slider control. Then I'm going to add that to this. I want this to repeat on the Z axis. So if you want it to repeat on rotation, you do the same thing for rotation. If you want it to repeat on any axis, X, Y, you also do that for this. So first of all, I'm going to turn this to 3D layer. Then I'm going to hit P on my keyboard to reveal the position property. Then I'll right click on the position property and go to separate dimension. That way I'll be able to use this slider control to control the Z position. I'm going to alt click on the Z position right here or you hold on option key to do that. That is going to add an expression on your timeline. Then we're going to expand this. So I'm going to pull this a bit up so that we can see exactly what we're doing. So now open the effects. We see the slider control, open it. So I'm going to pick whip this to the slider control right here. That is going to add us an expression right here. But before we close that expression, we're going to add additional expression asterisk index. So that is going to tell 
our after effect to repeat this in the z axis each time we move that slider so now to do that right now we're going to select this this very particular one right here and control d on our keyboard multiple times the number of times you want to repeat it so i'm going to go with 10. so right now nothing is happening what so you may say what but then let's see what will happen by the time you start moving the position slider so i'm going to pull this in Damn! you see that has made this to repeat on the z axis currently if you preview everything is going to simply rotate in the same axis but i'm going to show you how you can randomize this rotation in the next minute to create the random rotation on this so that it is repeating and then forming that kinetic motion individually on the text so let's do that so first of all what i'm going to do is to create another null object i'm going to go to the null then i'm going to name this rotation then i'm also going to add the slider control on this now hence we need to work on the rotation right here so i'm going to select the text holder composition hit r on the keyboard to reveal the rotation so i want this rotation to happen on the z axis hence our layer is 3d so i'm going to option click or alt click on the z axis also then i'm going to expand this rotation to expose the effect then slider then what i'm going to do is to pick whip this again to the rotation slider right here that is going to also add us a text expression on this then i'm going to also add the same thing asterisk index so that is going to randomize our motion and form that kinetic look animation on the text so now let's collapse all the options so that we have a clean timeline select the text composition then hit s on the keyboard i'm going to scale this quite a bit that is because each time we pull the position slider that is going to shrink the position of our text for some reasons i don't know why so i have to scale this out like this so after i scale this out i'm going to repeat this the number of times i want to see it so this time around i'm going to go with 12 or 15 so this is what we have currently so if you select the position slider you can still increase it then push it that is going to push it inward you see that so that we can have an even spacing on the text so this is what you have but now if you preview this that is going to give you the same animation like the previous one but in a moment we're going to change that you see it is giving you the same animation we had on the first one so for that i'm going to set my preview by hitting n so that it will start previewing shorter so i'm also going to drop the resolution further because this is already telling on my machine hence i'm recording at the same time and doing the animation so now let's preview and see it is still rotating like we had in the beginning so now this is when we use the position uh, rotation slider that we created so if you pull that if you dial any number in you see that everything is now randomized but everything is still going in the same direction you see that's why the fact that it is randomized is still going in the same direction so we're going to also randomize the rotation in a moment so we're going to use keyframing to control that so what we're going to do is to set our preview now to 10 seconds that is the entire composition move your time indicator to the end and then hit n on your keyboard that is going to set the preview so what we're going to do now is to open up this rotation slider will bring our time indicator back to zero and set a keyframe for the slider and then zero out the control that is going to reset this so we're going to go to the end of our composition and then set the value to 359 the value 359 is going to allow us loop the animation continuously without really stopping to start all over again because 360 will have been complete animation because we have zero to come back to we shorten it by one mathematically that is going to cost it to keep rotating randomly so you see if this is the effect you are going for this is beautiful you see it is going in the same direction so we can also change this if you go back to your last composition your last keyframe so let's hit you to reveal the keyframe so if you go here 
If you go to your last keyframe and make this negative 359, you see it has a different effect. That is going to slow the entire animation down and then randomize the direction of the rotation as well. You see, actually, I love the spiral effect that this gives in a loop. So this is how you can make your text follow a path and then repeat it on a path and then cause the entire thing to repeat either by rotation or on the position. So this is actually the trick you can use to add a repeater effect to text in Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you like the video leaving a comment is all the support so with whatever way you're able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios